Welcome. Let's take a quick tour of the main features of the Digital End User Experience Solution, also known as DEX, from ServiceNow. DEX extends all the capability you have in the ServiceNow platform with features that help to improve the technology experience of employees. It does this by helping them to make the most of the devices and applications that they use every day to do their work. The goal is for employees to be able to resolve technology issues quickly and efficiently by themselves. And when they can't resolve an issue, then to enable them to get help as easily as possible. DEX also helps technology and workplace teams when they are working on device issues or to provide insights and information to support their activities around improving apps, services and devices. The demo is going to show DEX from three perspectives. The first is that of the employee. The second is an IT service analyst working on the service desk. And the last example will be a workplace engineer. Our employee, Storm, is finding that his laptop is generally very slow. He opens the DEX desktop assistant and clicks on device health to get some quick information about the device. It seems to be showing typical CPU usage, so Storm clicks on memory and doesn't see anything unusual there either. Next, he runs a network speed test and his network speed is normal too. Sometimes these types of checks will be enough to identify a problem, but in this case it didn't help. So Storm wants to reach out to IT. Sometimes employees just reboot their machine or restart apps. But because DEX makes it easy to work with IT, it's more likely that Storm is willing to continue to investigate the problem. If the company has ServiceNow Virtual Agent, then Storm could open it directly from Desktop Assistant using the icon at the top. In this case, he's going to the employee portal through the employee center, where Storm has many choices for investigating and engaging. Storm chooses the chat option, which is also using Virtual Agent with all the power of generative AI and Now Assist at its disposal. Storm uses natural language to ask about the slow laptop issue. And Virtual Agent offers some troubleshooting steps. VA suggests freeing up some disk space. Storm knows disk space is not the issue and says no, it didn't help. Then Storm says yes to trying some other checks. VA thinks about it and uses DEX to check for memory usage by processes in real time. VA also suggests killing some processes and provides a link to an article on how to do this. We can imagine that very often this kind of focused and specific help will resolve the employee's problem. But in our demo, Storm is going to say no, this didn't help, it's still the same. VA offers to try some final checks, which Storm accepts. And this time VA suggests a reboot as the laptop has not been restarted in a long time. Storm has some important work going on right now and doesn't want to reboot and asks to have someone look into the issue. VA uses all the gathered information to raise an incident and the conversation ends. At this point in the demo, we're going to switch to Lakshmi. Lakshmi is the service analyst who's been assigned to Storm's issue. Here you can see Lakshmi in the service operations workspace. This is a great example of how we can leverage the entire knowledge graph, spanning all the data in ServiceNow to help people like Lakshmi to do their best work. Lakshmi clicks on the incident that's come from Storm and checks the activity logs and sees everything Storm has tried with the virtual agent so far, including the full conversation with everything Storm has tried. Lakshmi can check the incident details in the Details tab. And next we're going to go to the Investigation tab, where Lakshmi can see the data about the utilization gathered by DEX and sees that these thresholds have been exceeded. Lakshmi has an idea about the solution, so is ready to chat with Storm. So clicks on the Collaborate icon and starts a sidebar discussion. Let's flip back 
to see how this looks for Storm. The conversation comes up and Storm says hi. Let's go back to Lakshmi, who enters a suggested plan for Storm. So on Storm's screen, we see the suggestion which is to end some focus processes. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Anyway, Storm says that's okay and go ahead. Lakshmi sees this and responds that the processes will end and goes to the investigation tab. Here, Lakshmi selects the Chrome process and selects End Process. The key point here is that Lakshmi can take an action directly while in communication with the employee, all within ServiceNow and all in a few clicks. To complete the action, Lakshmi opens the playbook, confirms that the user has approved the action and ends the process. Let's go back to the details. The remediation action has completed, so we go back to collaboration and send a message that the issue should be resolved now. Storm responds that this has worked. Lakshmi posts the final comments on the incident and it's closed. So we've shown how in one process we help the employee to try to resolve an issue by themselves and then we make it easy to involve the service desk if they need more help. The service desk agent gets all the information they need and can interact with the employee and their machine to get the issue resolved. Let's finish with one other use case. This time we're going to impersonate a third person. Kellen, who's our workspace engineer. Kellen is interested in the end user experience from a more broad perspective. Kellen can see all the users and information, active users, devices, geographic location, alert summaries, etc. Kellen opens the DEX admin area to manage how applications are monitored. Kellen wants to add an application to the monitoring. Kellen selects to manage applications and looks down to choose Miro. We'll switch on monitoring and save this configuration. Now we're monitoring three applications for our employees. Let's start with a look at an example of an application installed on the device, the Zoom app. There's a lot of great information here. Perhaps we want to see the list of users in this app. OK, this could come in handy. Let's go back to the applications. And this time, look at a SaaS application, ADP. Again, we have details from the service side, like incidents, and from DEX monitoring that has provided the performance data. Again, we can look at which users are using this application. We can also look at some trend information from DEX and other sources. All of this can be useful in understanding how to prioritize activities or what apps may need some attention from the workspace team. Next, we're going to take a device view and we'll select a specific machine. This one, this ThinkStation. Here you can see the richness of the information that we can collect. It might be of interest, for example, to know that the firewall is disabled on this device. We're going to drill into application metrics which gives us another view of the application data, but now it's from the perspective of this one machine. A great level of detail for investigating application problems from an employee's perspective. The workplace engineer is getting insights into application performance and even into issues that the employee decided not to report to anyone. From here, we can also switch to looking at Zoom application metrics too. There's a lot more that we could do to explore, but I'd like to finish up by pointing out that we get a lot of hardware information too. You can see that we have multiple categories of device metrics. So let's look at device performance information. Again, DEX provides unique insights that will help those responsible for laptops to be more proactive in understanding how the systems are performing from the employee perspective 
and how these machines are really being used. That concludes this demonstration. We're rapidly expanding the features and content available in DEX with releases every three months in the ServiceNow store. So check back often to see the latest innovation. Thank you for watching.